Don't say a word. I would remember you just as you are, always like this. What are you laughing at? Uh, you move. We don't want any. Hi, Sam. Oh, hi, Mr. D. Say, I thought we had our signals straight. Forward pass, hold all my calls. What's my penalty for interfering with the passer? Sam, we will talk about that later. Right now, it's on your mind. Evelyn Ames. Shame on you, Sam. I thought you only knew nice people. She phoned you, Mr. She wants you to call her as soon as possible. I know you don't like girls like that, but she sounded so pathetic. And the only thing pathetic about Evelyn Ames is that her mink is last year's. Well, what's the number? Glenwood, 72999. Okay, Sam, thank you. Bye. Honey, uh, excuse me a minute, will you? Are you calling Evelyn Ames? Well, uh, yeah. I thought I might find out what she wants. It'd only be a minute. Well, Richard, I really do have to go. And seeing as that you're so very busy, anyway. Well, well honey, I, it's only going to be one phone call. Now, uh, come back here. And you can tell Sam the uh, quarterback couldn't find a receiver. Pass incomplete. <laughs> but, Karen, I... Diamond to see Evelyn Ames. Evelyn? Here's Diamond. Mr. Diamond, thank you so much for coming down. Well, you said the magic word, Miss Ames, money. <laughs> Won't you sit down? Let's get on with it. You know Mr. Sharkey? Only by reputation. What does that have to do with your emergency? Get off my back, Diamond. You're going to get hurt. Don't overmatch yourself, Mr. Sharkey. Pat is a friend of a friend of mine. Well, who's your other friend, Jack the Ripper? It's very funny, Diamond. How do you do? Joey King. How do you do? Should I check him, boss? No, I'll get him. Just for laughs. Well, relax, the both of you. Sit down. Diamond's working for me. When did I start? When you're walking at all. I just quit. you walking out on $50 a minute? Mind if I have a drink? Help yourself. What do I have to do for this $50 a minute? Turn me over to the police. All right, Mr. Kane, what's the angle? There isn't any. Look, oh, Diamond, I killed the guy tonight, see? Well, self-defense. But with Joey Kane at San Quentin just to carry a gun. Anyway, that's uh, academic. Because even if I beat this rap, the syndicate's just going to send out another boy. Uh, you're in trouble. And I'm copping out, if I can arrange things my way. That's where you earn your money. You make the arrangements. All there is to it. Well, there's got to be more than that. Why? That adds up, Diamond. Syndicate trying to bump me off? I get any kind of a shake from the cops, I'm going to talk. You sure you'll have anything interesting for the police to hear? <laughs> I like you, Diamond. I bet you're just saying that. They're going to be more than interested. They're going to be fascinated. Well, so am I, Joey, and I don't even know the name of the game. Truth and consequences. You just tell them they're going to be nice to Joey Kane. Joey Kane's going to be nice to them. In spades. Names? Names. Deal? What do I have to do? You set it up with the cops. Pat will be in touch. 
There must be a little something you haven't told me. My wife is a gentleman. Well, I wish I hadn't said that. Don't get up. I'll find my wife. You got me all the way over here just to tell me that wild story? I got better things to do with my time, Diamond. Better things than bringing in Joey Kane to talk? I'll bring him in. You should do it his way and get a bonus. Names and numbers of each and every hoodlum. It's a lot better than a program. I can't buy any kind of a deal. If it looks this simple. Kane's more afraid of the syndicate than anything else. All he wants to do is be sure he's protected. He's ready to talk. Listen, Diamond. If I go for this, I'm holding you responsible. If anything goes wrong, the department will come down on me like a house. If I get buried, so do you. That's a promise. Fair enough. Okay. I won't move until I get your phone call. This better be good. What's in this for you, Shocking? Kicks. Oh, you mean the girl? Well, you're a big man with the ladies, according to the papers. Don't believe everything you read, Diamond. Well, it does figure. She's beautiful, and the boss will soon be out of circulation. You're a regular detective, aren't you? No, I'm sort of a Miss Lonely Hearts. How does Evelyn feel about making the change? I didn't ask her. Well, maybe you won't have to. She's got eyes and you're, uh... What is it they say about you? Oh, you're irresistible. What are you getting at? Nothing. I just want to be one of the first to congratulate the happy couple, that's all. You will be. How long do I have to wait? Hey, Sharky. Get in, Diamond. Pretty good timing, Joey. Tell them to come on up. I'm going to give you directions how to get here. No, I think I can figure it out. Huh? Well, uh... Baker. Lieutenant, this is Richard Diamond. Yeah. I'm with Joey Kane at a ranch in the valley. It's two and two tenths miles off the boulevard on the Vega Canyon Road. No, there's no trouble. We'll be right out. I'll see you later. Huh. 
Huh? No sweat. Nothing to it. I'll go get the stuff. What stuff? Well, I got books, I got records, I got tape recordings. When Joey Kane sings, it ain't just no song, it's a complete opera. <laughs> Where'd you hide it? Under a rock? Yeah, close, Diamond. I got a safe in the woodshed. Are you eligible for unemployment insurance? Huh? Well, you won't have a job. The boss has gone out of circulation. You can go around putting the blast on. Well, I got news for you, big shot. If you want to play cops and robbers, bang, bang, you're dead. Come on, Moxie. Who did you set him up for? Could be I can get you a medal. This is going to be a much nicer town without Joey Kane. Now, just tell me what you know. Nothing. You knew Kane would go to the woodshed for those records. You wired the safe and got rid of Joey and the records in one satisfying blast. A package deal. How am I doing, Moxie? If I knew who'd done it, I'd take care of myself. I'd buy that, Lieutenant. He'd gotten himself killed going in after Kane if I hadn't clipped him. Oh, uh, you buy it, do you, Diamond? Well, how about your personal guarantee that this was all just a nasty mistake? I don't be bitter, Lieutenant. Don't think you're off the hook by a long shot. I haven't forgotten who set this whole deal up. Uh, good for you. You New York boys come out here feeling like city slickers in Rubeville. Just one big ball, isn't it? Now, you're out of line, Lieutenant. I know this looks bad for you, but it doesn't exactly make a hero out of me either. You can hardly point to Kane as a satisfied customer. Don't tell me you're in mourning. I had a job to do. I fouled it up. Now, maybe Kane didn't get my vote as Mr. America, but that's a rough way to lose a client. All right. Get out of here. Both of you. Diamond. You like it in Los Angeles? Well, it's no place to visit, but I guess it's all right if you want to live here. Why? Just checking. Say, Lieutenant, I left my car at the coffee shop. Do you mind giving me a lift back home? You did it! You and Sharky Job Joy! If you hadn't slugged me, I'd have gotten him out of there. I might kill you and then I'm gonna get Sharky. Now, wait a minute, Marcy. Now, you got me wrong. But you could be right about Sharky. Now, do you want to find out? Okay. Okay. Now, pick yourself up. Get in there and wash up, and then we'll have some breakfast.
don't you think? Well, let's see what we know. Sharky didn't sleep in his apartment last night, and Evelyn Ames is gone. That suggest anything to you? They go on someplace to Sharky and the dame. Good boy, Moxie. Now I want you to think. around here all day yesterday. Did you hear anything? Did Miss Ames seem like she was packing or getting ready to travel? I was with her all afternoon. The boss had me driving for her. Oh, where'd you drive her, Moxie? Places where she told me. Like what places? Why, to her doctors. What'd she do there? Went inside. For how long? Maybe 15 minutes. What, she say anything when she came out? Yeah. She said, let's go. Moxie, did she say anything else? She said her arm hurt. Then where'd you drive her? Store on Wilshire. You take me there? I guess so. Let's go. Mr. Diamond? No, Diamond ain't here. Well, when do you expect him? I don't know. A few minutes, maybe. Who wants it? No, just tell him it's Sam. Lady, who you kidding? Say, who is this, anyway? Who am I? Just call me Bernice. Yeah. <laughs> Look, maybe you and me ought to get together. Sam and Bernice. <laughs> Gee, mister, you're a scream. <laughs> hey, here comes Diamond now. Dame named Sam. Hi, Sam. What's going on, Mr. D? I haven't heard from you. Hold all my calls for a couple of days. I'm going to be out of town. Right, fine. Well, Marcy, Evelyn Ames got a shot at a doctor. She picked up a visa from Mexico and asked about the weather in Acapulco. That's where I'm going. When do we leave? We don't. You get to go home. Oh, what about Sharky? What about him? to be in the neighborhood, so I thought I'd drop by. Where's Sharky? Get out of here, or I'll yell for help. I don't yell. Use the telephone. It's a lot easier. What do you want? I'd like to have a little conversation with your boyfriend. Where is he? How would I know? The same. You're a very pretty girl. Don't try to be smart and complicate the whole thing. You're not giving me a bad time, are you, Mr. Diamond? Where's Sharky? Who cares about him? A lot of people, honey. You and me, the police, and Moxie. Now, he's in a lot of trouble, and so are you. Don't be silly, Rick. Pat Sharky murdered Joey Kane, possibly with your help. Now, does that sound silly? No, where is he? Hi, Diamond. Mr. Sharky. I gotta give you a lot of credit. I didn't think you were smart enough to double-cross Joey Kane. 
Must have come as a big surprise to him. How long do you think he's going to go on letting you spend his money? Just what do you mean by that? After he kills me, do you think he's going to let you live? A lot of people know I'm here. They'll ask questions. You can't afford to have people around with the answers. You're crazy. Maybe I am, honey, but then maybe you are. After he kills me, he'll have to be on the run. That wouldn't be a problem if you weren't alone. Now, he knows that, and so do I. And so do you. Joey, we can make that date with the police now. You know how they are. Better late than never. Very square. Come on. <laughs> now, I can explain everything. You're being very childish. Very funny. All right, start talking, Mr. Diamond. You're going to have to sell me, and I'm a very tough sell. All right. I was in Acapulco. Mm -hmm. On a case. Mm. With Evelyn Ames. Oh, you poor boy. Well, listen, there was a lot of trouble there. There was guns going off, everything. Hey, did you read about Joey Kane getting blown up? Well, he didn't. He didn't. No, he staged the whole thing so that everybody would think that he was dead. Actually, the remains in the ashes were Pat Sharkey. And you figured it all out in your own little head. Well, yeah, I did. I uh, followed the wrong guy, but... You mean you made a mistake? I never make mistakes. You so? I'd like to be, Mr. Diamond. Well, don't fight it, honey. Come in. 